Hello viewers, in the previous two episodes we have studied about fertilization, oviparity and viviparity. Embryogenesis is a continuation after fertilization. In this episode we will be learning about embryogenesis in human. Embryogenesis is a process of cell division and cellular differentiation of the embryo that occurs during the early stage of development. The development takes place from one cell zygote to an infant baby. Fertilization occurs when the sperm cell successfully enters and fuses with an egg cell that is ovum. Embryogenesis covers the first eight weeks of development and at the beginning of the ninth week the embryo is termed as fetus. Human embryology is the study of development during the first eight weeks after fertilization. The normal period of gestation period that is pregnancy is 9 months or 37 weeks after which the baby is born. Fertilization takes place when the spermatozoon has successfully entered the ovum and the two sets of genetic material carried by both the gametes fuse together resulting in a zygote that is a single diploid cell. So two cells have fused to become one cell which we call it as zygote. Fertilization takes place in the ampulla of one of the fallopian tubes. The zygote contains the combined genetic material carried by both the male and female gametes which consists of 23 chromosomes from the nucleus of the ovum come from mother and 23 chromosomes from the nucleus of the sperm come from father. The zygote now has 46 or 23 pairs of chromosomes. The zygote undergoes cleavage or division after third day and will move down from the fallopian tube to uterus and get implanted. If the blastocyst does not move into uterus and remain in the fallopian tube, it will result in ectopic pregnancy. Ectopic means out of place. The blastocyst in normal condition must have reached uterus. But here, for reasons unknown, may remain in a fallopian tube and the fallopian tube will not expand like the wall of uterus. But the zygote will be growing. Mother will have terrible pain and at times the tube, that is the fallopian tube may burst and it may be fatal to the female or the mother. Cleavage. The beginning of cleavage process is marked with the zygote dividing through mitosis into two cells. The mitosis continues and the first two cells divide to form four cells then into eight cells and so on. Each division takes from 12 to 24 hours. Initially the dividing cells called blastomeres, Greek word blastos means sprout, are undifferentiated and aggregated into a sphere enclosed within the membrane of glycoproteins termed as zona pellucida of the ovum. When the cells number around 16, the solid sphere of cells within the zone of pellucida is referred to as morula. Next stage 
is blastulation. Cleavage itself is the first stage in blastulation. The process of forming blastocyst. Cells differentiate into an outer layer of cells, collectively called trophoblast, and the inner mass of cells. With further compaction, the individual outer blastomeres, the blastocysts, become indistinguishable and are still enclosed within zona pellucida. The inner mass of cells differentiates to become embryoblast. This polarization leaves a cavity, the blastocele, which is now termed as the blastocyst. In animals other than mammals, this is also called as blastula stage. The trophoblast secretes fluid into blastocele. The inner cell mass will give rise to the embryo proper, the amnion, the yolk sac and elentois. The fetal part of the placenta will form the outer trophoblast layer. The zona pellucida ultimately disappears completely and now exposed cells of trophoblast allow the blastocyst to implant itself into the endometrium, nothing but the lining on the wall of the uterus. New cells derived from yolk sac will be established between trophoblast and exocelomic membrane and will give rise to extra embryonic membranes, which will form cavities known as chorionic cavity. Implantation During the process of ovulation, the endometrial lining of uterus becomes transformed into a secretory lining in preparation of accepting the embryo. It becomes thickened with its secretory glands becoming elongated and is increasingly vascular. The trophoblast layer of the blastocyst implants in the wall of the uterus. Embryonic disc. The embryoblast forms an embryonic disc which is bilaminar disc of two layers. An upper layer, the epiblast, which is primitive ectoderm and a lower hypoblast which is primitive endoderm. The disc is stretched between what will become the amniotic cavity and the yolk sac. The epiblast is adjacent to trophoblast and made of columnar cells. The hypoblast is closest to the blastocyst cavity and made of cuboidal cells. Next is gastrulation. The beginning of gastrulation takes place around 16th day or third week after fertilization. It is the phase early in embryonic development during which the single layered blastula is reorganized into trilaminar or three layered structure known as the gastrula. These three germ layers are known as ectoderm, mesoderm and endoderm. Ectoderm is the outer layer, gives rise to epidermis, to the neural crest and associated neural tissues that will later form the nervous system. The mesoderm is found between ectoderm and endoderm and gives rise to muzzle, cartilage, notochord, bone, blood, etc. Whereas the innermost endoderm gives rise to the epithelium of digestive system and respiratory system, OV ducts, etc. So today's episode we have learnt about the development of the embryo from fertilization up to three germ layers.
Thank you.